start their business dream. Candy Brown is live in Roseville now, meeting one of six finalists in this year's Calling All Dreamers contest. Hi, Candy. Good morning. So we're at Bloom Cafe in Roseville. Imagine a space like this where there are a bunch of different entrepreneurs selling their items. That is the concept behind Miscellaneous, and this is Gabriella's idea. So what's the concept here, Gabriella? Well, Miscellaneous is a new concept retail store that rents out a space to entrepreneurs who wants to have a dream of opening up their own store but don't have the resources or the time of knowledge of doing so. Where did you guys come up with this idea? It's you and your brother, right? Well, my husband. Oh, your husband. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it comes from the need of having a, an affordable retail space for those uh, chasing their dreams and wanting to have their brands out there. And so how would you find these entrepreneurs? Well, they, they uh, are online already or they are in farmer's market. They already are on different stores as well. So we want to be uh, a, a platform for them so they can have their products there too. Okay, I love this concept uh, because there are a lot of people who are online. They want to have their own space. This is what the Calling All Dreamers competition does. It brings entrepreneurs and people who want to have this, their own space. You guys help this make them happen. It is a prize valued at $100,000. What do they get, Jordan? They get a mix of services, including marketing, help with designing their space. We help them find the space downtown that they'd like to actually have their business in. So the Calling All Dreamers competition, now in its fifth year, we've helped over five dreamers, four dreamers, pardon me, already open a business, Oblivion Comics and Coffee most recently. And now we're excited for this next pool, uh, next pool of six finalists yeah, who are vying to compete. This year there's six finalists, yes. but what we find happens is even if something like miscellaneous doesn't win, yeah. they still usually go on to yeah. create their own business. And, and what first comes to mind is Benjamin Shoes. Yeah. I remember being at his home mm -hmm. as he is showing me how he makes these shoes. And now this man goes all over the country, yeah. and learns about different things, and then, and then has his own retail space. So he didn't win, but he still goes on because they learn so much valuable things from this program. How long do people have to vote? They have till June 26th. You can vote online, callingalldreamers.org. Yeah, because the public's vote helps decide yep. who is going to win. In the next hour, we're going to introduce you to another dreamer. Wait until 9, uh, 10 a.m. this morning to decide who you want to vote okay. for. Uh, and then go onto their website and vote because we're going to introduce you to all of them. Yeah. Uh, and then you can decide. All of them except, I think, the Churro Project which I think they know I would eat all their churros, so they couldn't make it. Oh, so darn. that was going to cost them it's too much favorite. money, you yeah. know? <laughs> but I love this concept, the miscellaneous. Yeah, it's great. great. It's going to be hard to decide.